Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we're going to be doing a Rohan style butcher shop. Um, so this is going to be in the default texture pack, obviously it's in Conquest Reforged at the minute, but um, we're going to be converting this one over to the latest version of Minecraft, which would be quite good, which is 1.13 at the minute. Uh, so if I give you guys a quick tour of the actual building in uh, Conquest and a quick quick show around of the outside just so you can see what you're kind of building. Um, it's pretty simple, it's pretty small as well. Uh, I have put in a small outside area here for, well, butchering animals and things, which is very nice. Um, it's got quite a nice back bit, nice side bit as well. Uh, and if we have a quick look inside, you're going to see how I've split it up. It's up to you guys how you want to do it. Uh, but what I've done is I've had the like, front part of it as the actual shop where you've got some hanging up uh, kind of like meats and things like that. Uh, and then it drops down for the back where he actually has a lot of meat hanging up and his own kitchen. Uh, kind of like sitting area and kind of like living room and then upstairs he actually has where he lives because a lot of them would live uh, above their shop or in their shop um, so it's kind of like a pretty simple design but like I said we're going to be doing the vanilla version of this one um, so we're just going to jump straight into my tutorial world and we're going to get started okay so here we are on my flat world my tutorial world um, so what we're going to need material wise we've got this really nice cool stripped spruce uh, wood log it's up to you what logs you want to use this is more close to kind of like what I've used and what uh, looks quite good so we're going to give this one a go uh, we're also going to need stone and andesite and also cobblestone the reason we've got all three of those is just for mixing in the text just like we've done uh, previously uh, we're also going to need some oak planks uh, we're also going to need a hay bale, uh, which we're going to use for the thatch. We're also going to switch over to the birch wood planks if you guys like that instead. Uh, also some a jungle slab and also some jungle stairs. Uh, and that will get us started. Uh, that's also going to be other blocks we're going to need, obviously, but uh, that'll do for now. So um, first things first, what we're going to do, this is the actual shape of the building. So you can kind of figure out if it's going to fit uh, wherever you're, you're actually starting. I'm going to be starting with this corner right here. So this is where I'm, at, I'm going to be starting, uh, which means you've got, if you count that block, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, going all the way back um, to, to the back kind of like piece of that. Uh, and then from this one, if you did want to go and figure it out from there, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks going out. If you want to figure that out, that is. So, um, yep, starting with this kind of like corner, we're just going to go up by three blocks, one, two, and three. Then what we're going to do uh, on this bottom bit, we're actually going to have this mostly wood on the front of it. So we're just going to go with our planks, one, two, three, four, and five. It's five blocks going across. Then you guessed it, pillar of three in total with the uh, spruce kind of uh, log, this new this new fancy log. <laughs> so um, what we can do on the sides now is we can start putting in some stone. Uh, the reason I've got wood in the front is just because it seems to look a lot cleaner. So it's like the shop front is, you know, cleaned up uh, or not cleaned up, but you know, it's, it's, they've, they've put wood planks in rather than anything else. Um, so on the side, if we go one, two, and three blocks with a cobblestone, and we'll do the variation, I think, in a bit. So three blocks there, then you guessed it, we're going to go up with three blocks as a pillar. Uh, we will change that in a little bit, we're actually going to go up another bit, but uh, that'll do for now. Then going across the side here, we've got two blocks, okay, like that. And then another pillar with one, two, and three. Then across this bit, three blocks, one, two, and three. Then another one of these pillars going up. And then again two blocks and a pillar, so it just kinda like completes this bit. You can see the main the main frame is this square, or uh, not square, this tr uh, rectangle here. And uh, we just got this addition on this side and a little addition on that side uh, to make it a little bit bigger. So then we get across the back here, one, two, three, four, and five. And then three blocks going up. Then one. Then three blocks going up. Then we go around to the side. Three blocks here. And then go up and have a pillar, two, three. We have one block going in just to mirror exactly what we've got on the other side there. And then one, two, and three. Then just to finish it up, we just join up this little bit here, one, two, and three like that. So it's a really, really simple little structure. There is the top down view if you guys need it. Just knowing that that biggest bit there is five blocks and these are three blocks. So you can kind of see it from there. Visually, then we've got this five blocks here, five blocks at the back, three blocks there, three blocks there. Three blocks there and three blocks there, and one on this side, but two on the other. Of course, you could extend it to two on the other side if you really wanted to. There's nothing stopping you. So what we'll do now is we're going to start doing uh, bits of the roof. Um, so what we're going to do here, uh, just on the front part, we're going to actually just start doing an A-frame here. It's quite quite a low roof on this one, like that. So we're just getting A-frame there, and same on these two sides as well, here. 
and on this one here. Just like that. Now the back one right here uh, is going to be slightly different. We're actually going to go up by two blocks. So one, two, one, two, and then we're going to do the same thing. So then we're going to do the roof. So this bit's up higher, which is why it has a slight strange, or not really strange shape, different shape. Two blocks there, two blocks there, oops, not three blocks. And just bring these in to make an A-frame like that. So you end up getting this you know, quite uh, kind of tiered uh, kind of, uh, of shape. So you have this kind of room here. I, I did put a, a floor in on this bit, so it was really low in the beginning, but you could actually have the uh, kind of like entrance part where you've got the shop, quite big. Um, and then have your, your second floor up here if you wanted to as a small one. So what we're going to do, uh, mix in a bit of cobblestone. So we can just like, you know, take out a couple of these blocks potentially and uh, just put in some more cobble. Like this. And we're going to put in that there. And I think that'll do actually. We don't need to do too much with it. Don't need to do loads. So we're going to put in that there perhaps. Oh, okay. used the andesite already. And then just put in a bit of andesite. Switch out these ones. So the main material that we're using is cobble, but have got other ones. And we're also going to use this stone as well. So there we go. And you just try and um, to do variation. You li it is literally just random. So uh, if you have got world edit, it helps a lot. You know, you might have something like I don't know, sixty percent of it being cobblestone and uh, and twenty each of of the other two. Uh, it was probably probably a good kind of like way to go with those. Okay, so next bit, oak plank the whole thing up. So we're just going to oak plank it all up. Build right to the top like that. And up here as well. Now it's up to you. I, I had a kind of like nice, um, really, really nice looking block uh, actually go go across most of these bonds. Now we haven't really got anything that's like got really cool patterns, uh, but we could use something like a, a log instead. Uh, so we could use, I don't know, dark oak or something. We could try this out. But I think it's going to look too dark. Yeah, it's going to look too, too dark. So let's go with oak wood, you know. Let's go over oak wood and actually put this across. And just try and use that because it, it does get cut up a little bit when we do some more detailing. So I have that going across all of these and put in your oak. And if it doesn't work, we'll rip it out. It doesn't really matter. Oh, there we go. So it's just on that second block there, joining it all up. Let's just go around this quickly and just just get it done. There you go. There and up here as well. There you go, and that's all built. Don't worry about the middle bit; we'll sort that out later. Um, so just to do the kind of like first way of doing it, which uh, with the roof with hay bales. So as you can see from the other stuff like the bakery, you know, I'll do all this kind of detail type stuff anyway. Uh, I prefer it, but uh, if you don't and you prefer that kind of like old hay bale style, feel free to shove down your hay bales. Obviously, if you want them all facing upwards, um, it's best to put a block underneath first, something like grass or something that you know is just obviously not not the, the, the same kind of block uh, to actually do it but because I'm going to be changing it and I know I'm going to be changing it I am going to be just switching these out straight away to save myself a little bit of time there we go put these on the side like that this one just have it go straight across don't worry about the one that's down below there you go put these in this is the good thing about uh, most of these kind of like really nice uh, medieval houses. The the A-frame part of it, you know, roof-wise, it's so easy once you once you get it. I know that when I started, it took me ages to to get used to the actual style, but there's some pretty good tutorials. And the more you do, the more you learn. So you put these down here like that. Sorry, let me let me explain this bit a little bit better. So um, on top of these, just put on your slabs, and then upside down stair on this bit. Then stair, then stair, then upside down stair in here. So stair, stair, upside down stair. So all you're all you're really doing is you're stopping this kind of like. Uh, if you've got something like this, all you're doing is just putting these stairs, which I'm sure you guys have done before. Uh, and then put a stair going outwards that way, and stair going outwards that way. So that's just how you get the nice X that we're going to be using for this, like Rohan style um, thing of a bobber. Uh, so then put a slab underneath, and bring this around. And this is actually going to go all the way around the side here, right to the other side, like that. And then we can have our stairs going up, upside down stair, stairs going down, and then slabs, it's going in and underneath, upside down and upside down. And I'll put in our little X. The slab's going to cross there, 
Uh, it's up to you if you want to have it going all the way up. Uh, I think with this one, because the roof was so small, if it was like sticking out more, and obviously you'd extend it out more if you wanted to, um, you could actually have it going up the middle, but I think I decided not to with this one. So we're going to keep it that way. Let's also bring this around the front as well, and do this. That's why we get the slightly bigger roof. So we go go into there. And also with the uh, slabs going underneath, and just bring that under. Bring that around like that. And then we'll sort out the under upside down stairs on these bits. Right at the top as well, shove those in. And also, put your slab in right to there, and that means we get a block right in there. So there's only one block, that's why I said it. don't worry about it too much. So put your slabs across down here, upside down stair there, stair there, stair there, stair there, and still putting your, your slabs going into it like that. And just fit in your upside downs as well. It's really close to this one. Just shove this in here. Put in your stairs. Like this, this, maybe, if we can get it. There we go, like that. And then put in your X. So putting your X, you know, putting the putting the stairs on there. Okay, so we've got all that, that's good. So this side, upside down, and stair, then stair, then stair. And your slab's going around this bit. Do upside down, upside down. Stair, stair, stair. Slabs under. I'll put on this bit here. And we need to sort out this side's upside downs as well. So there we go, that gives us the kind of thing that's going on. The whole kind of like um, style of it as such. So I think I had the door here. Something like that. I'll put the door in there for now. And we'll get on to some of the detail at the back. I think it's going to be one of the starting points. Okay, so cobblestone wall, wherever it is. We've got wool. So only got cobblestone wall. It's a shame we haven't got the wood ones. It'd be nice to have these in the, in the cobblestone like we do in the like conquest. Um, so like cobblestone wall, but actually it's wood. It's great. It's amazing. Right, so, but since we don't have that, it's fine. Uh, we'll put an upside down stair here and one up here. Upside down stair there and up there. And then what we're going to do, down here we're going to have cobblestone wall just on those bits there. And the other bit we're going to have fence. Uh, and we're going to have... Um, I think we're going to go spruce with spruce fence, just to make it like a different colour. So we have spruce fence and it kind of mixes in with that, that colour there as well. Uh, and then right at the top here we're going to cut out a window. Let's get rid of this this here and let's go for some glass. And I, th I think I'm just going to go with a glass pane, normal one. Um, I'm just putting glass paint up there. I have a spruce wood fence going up and spruce wood fence going up so you get this kind of like style there. Get rid of the hay bale. Now I think we've got a load of new trapdoors haven't we yet which is really cool. I haven't seen these yet which is really good. Um, I quite like the spruce wood one already just looking at it. So shove this on the side here as if it's like been opened uh, just like that which is really nice and simple. Um, other stuff we can do of course is if we go up our stairs. Let's get oak, wood, oak stair. Put in a stair there, put in a stair up there, just to kind of like make that window look like it's like a little bit, you know, more more deep than it actually is. It gives it a little bit more depth, that's what I'm trying to say, um, which is good. And then what we'll do down underneath it, directly underneath it, is actually have another window, just a small one like that. Uh, and then we could have a hatch or something on the side instead. Uh, something like that will definitely do. So if we now get a stair here, we're also going to put on cobblestone wall like that and I'm just going to try and find so I'm having to go through a couple pictures because I can't remember everything on it uh, so if we get a stair here as well on this side put your cobblestone wall up and guess what it's the same on this side as well so stair there and stair there and cobblestone wall up cobblestone wall up and this block right here can turn into a window we can put a little trapdoor on as well obviously you could have a window down here but I think I had all of this as a kitchen so this window actually was really really nice uh, really nicely placed, really worked for that. So if we go around to the side here, we're going to cut out this one and put in a little window. That's just to let in light to this shop. We can just put that on the side. And same again with these. We're going to take out these and take out those. And you could, if you wanted to, obviously, you don't have to put the cobblestone in. I mean, it's just that I've put the cobblestone in. Um, but you could actually put in fence instead if you wanted to. If you think that looks a little bit better, we'll have a look at it very quickly. We could even do a mix, you know, where you get the stone down there, you actually put in uh, cobblestone, but normally you wouldn't. You know, that kind of stuff will work as well. Actually, that does work quite well, so I think that's going to be what we're going to do. It's just a general rule. 
Uh, so then here we're putting some uh, on the side. And then around to the front of this, putting stairs as well. Now with the front, it's slightly different. Uh, because we do actually have this kind of like stool type thing going on, on at the front of this. Uh, so we've got those two there. Let's put in fence there, fence there. But what we're also going to do is we're going to actually have two bits of fence here, two bits of fence here. Uh, we're going to actually use the spruce wood trap door. I'm going to place that up. If you if you um, are wondering how I did that, you just have to hold down shift and then you can click on onto things rather than it just wrote, you know right clicking and just doing this. Uh, just in case you didn't know it. Uh, and we're also going to grab with that the spruce wood slab. Let's go with that. So we get this nice like you know. Uh, thing coming down without it, without us having to actually do too much at all with it, which is great. Really great, actually. Um, so window-wise, right at the top, switch that one out and I have a little window. And put that in there. Um, and let's put in a nice door as well, obviously. So, I'm going to go with spruce door. No, no, we don't need a spruce door. Let's go with oak door. I think an oak door would be quite nice, wouldn't it? You'd want something that has windows on it. Uh, so that we actually have it in here. You can see the size of it now. It's not... not Huge, but it's uh, not tiny either. So there we go. So we've got that there. So let's just keep going around. Okay, so there we go. Right on this side, same thing. Have the stair. Same on that one, have the stair. And also with this one, have a stair. All of them have stairs, obviously. Uh, and then we just put these up on the sides here. Oops, like that. Fences. Same on this bit. And let's do that rule that we were doing before. That seemed to work quite well. Obviously, I haven't got it. I haven't got anywhere near as much on the front, which is why I'm like now thinking actually should we switch out this one or something? And just have it on the side. Yeah, that looks alright. It's a little bit better. That'll do. Um, now for the window on the side. Uh, yeah, on the side we've also got a window. Yeah, same same kind of thing going on. And we'll just put that on the side there like that. And that'll do. There we go. So we've got the big windows. We've got the side windows. So that's pretty much windowed up. Um, if you guys want to do the same flooring that I did, I did it really low, so I literally had my flooring up here, uh, and I'd use something like spruce wood, obviously I'm using jungle for now, but that's where I had my flooring, and then I had um, a back wall here, so that's how, this is how small my actual shop kind of side of it was, uh, but it's up to you, uh, and I just had these three blocks here, I did put in uh, uh, kitchen-y, what's it called, uh, chimney type thing, which we will put in, I'll, I'll go back and learn it. Um, so that's what we've got for here, uh, and then you can put in some stairs or whatever. Uh, and I think I put my stairs in like right up here to go up to this level. It was, yeah, it was definitely that actually. Uh, and then just brought this all out and had a small kind of like fence going across this bit, just so you can actually see into the, see down there, or it kind of opens it up just a tiny little bit. So up to you if you want to do that or do something like that or or whatever. Um, and if you guys do want an interior for, for in, in vanilla, we can always do that. Because uh, I'm thinking of doing all of these, shoving them on an actual default world as well. Um, so actually using all the builds that we got from here and actually just blunking them in. Um, if you want to do it a slightly different roof style, really, really easy way to do it. If you grab your birch slab, birch stairs, and also birch planks, we're going to convert this all over to that kind of like messy style, which I really like. Uh, I'm a big fan of. I, I prefer it to the thatch. I wish... With a thatch, if we had it without these red things, and if we had slabs and stairs of it, it'd be great. But basically, switch everything over just to be in these birch blocks, uh, and this way how you do your starting point. So it's ex exactly the same, really. The only thing is, it's a little bit more difficult to do apparently on this build, <laughs> which usually it isn't. Usually, it's exactly the same. But I'm just going to do it on the inside to, so I think some of them are going to be easier to place. There you go. Now we'll see what, what we've missed on the outside. It's going to be this weird border outlines, I reckon. Oh, there we go. There's more there. Like that. Okay. So let's have a look. Yep. So we got that one, that one. Random right one there. It's actually not too bad. I did get quite a, You can get quite a lot from the inside then. <laughs> which I didn't realise. There we go. So replace all these. There we go. Get onto there, place that on there. Okay, cool. Right, so we got our, our starting point, uh, which is just that roof. Already, I think that looks better, personally. I just I just think it does. Um, 
but we're going to basically mess it up. We're going to make it look a bit lumpy. We're going to make it look like they've put thatch on it, you know, like this kind of thing. Well, they've been building up thatch on it for quite a while, and bits of it have fallen off, and, and bits of it have been stuck on, and just in general, it makes I think it makes it look a lot more, more detailed, um, a lot more kind of authentic, I think. Um, then again, if you see thatch builds these days, they don't actually look like this at all, but I don't know, in my head it makes, makes sense. Usually I start with a corner. Um, so if you just put in a stair there and you can build on top of it, that's the other thing about these, these slabs, it really works. Uh, and then we just start basically switching out blocks. We never take away one thing that you'll find with this style. Um, if you take away a block, you're actually replacing it with stairs. And if not, you're actually putting other stuff on top of it. So you're putting, putting things like slabs on top. So you're always like kind of building on what you've already got. And, and what this actually does for the inside part of it is really good. Actually, you have to do something like that, aren't I? Yeah. If I wanted to do that, I actually don't like the look of it. So I'm gonna have to keep I'm gonna have to keep that block there, but I can always put a slab on top. Um yeah, so the good thing is you do see on the inside, so if we have a look at this in a second, you'll see that like because we've done this side over here, which I've kind of blocked up, uh, the blocks are exactly the same. So you don't lose anything, even if you've just got like a block here or whatever. Was this side? I think it was this side, wasn't it? Yeah, so the blocks are the same because you're not actually like adding into it. So when you actually do the interior, it's not as bad. You can actually still have really nice, smooth interiors. Uh, it's just the outside is looking a little bit more you know, different, completely different. So there we go. And the good rule is to, if you have a slab, then put in one of these stairs because it then makes it look like there could be possibly a full block here. It's this uh, kind of like using those kind of things uh, to make it look interesting. Uh, it's really good actually do. So we got a bit like blocked up there, but then we're going to do something like this, where we turn it around to the side, and up here as well. I can't do that. <laughs> so we can't do that bit, but we can do this. There you go, so you get something like that. It makes it all look nice and lumpy. And same around this side, so just like I said before, you know, use a stair or something. Uh, it doesn't really matter which way it goes with the stair. Now place these. Put some of these in. I'm actually going to go this way around this time. Yeah, so when I was knocking out these blocks, obviously they had, hadn't been done yet. But there you have someone like that. That looks quite cool to me. And again, I'll put this on here. I'm actually going to bring that one forwards. And put a stair in there. Put this bit around here. That there. Um, just can bring that over there. So again, I'm trying to do like a, a thing where it feels like it's off because that, that's got that corner there. If I've got a corner up there and it's like displaced by one block, it might make it look a little bit more off in a good way. Which I know doesn't really sound right, but um, <laughs> to me it makes perfect sense. There we go. So we might put a block on top of there. See, I've even put the block on the wrong one. Um, but we'll have something like that there. And that is how you do it. It's nice and simple. I mean, once you start doing it, you'll get the hang of it. Uh, but it just ends up making, I think it makes it look a lot more detailed and thatchy, is, um, is what I'm going to go with. Um, but there we go. So what we'll do now is we will get on to the chimney. Alright, so on to the chimney side of it. So it's, um, oh, I was going to say it's quite easy, but it's actually not going to be that easy. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to make it kind of feel quite easy, I think. Ish. <laughs> so if you grab stone brick slab, also, yeah, let's get a stone slab and shove that around there. Uh, get your stone brick stairs and stone bricks and mossy and cracked. That'll do for now. So on this, uh, as we're inside of and inside this kind of like um, shop here, right in the back corner, this is where I did it on this two bit, and cut out this bit right here. And then what we're going to do is just have two blocks on the back here, two blocks going on here. We're going to use just stone bricks for now, uh, but we'll then change them later on. And then on this side, actually turn around these like that. Um, and then what we're going to do. Ah, so we're going. What we're going to actually do? Sorry, guys. I'm getting very confused. So put two upside down stairs there. Then have one this way, and then one this way. So it all curves around. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to get out. I'm also going to cut this back. Apparently, it's in the wrong place. So there we go. That's in the wrong place. So we'll get rid of that. So on the on the kind of like side part of it, we need a trapdoor, and the best one I think is actually iron. Because the rest of them aren't metal enough for me. Uh, so we're going to shove those on the side there. And to put the iron trapdoors up. Which we need to get them going the other way. Which means we need redstone. So where's redstone when we need it? Okay, so let's see if we can actually do this. There we go. Put that in there. 
That's the only thing. How, how are we going to do these? <laughs> yeah, that's good fun, isn't it? Um, without cheating, that is. I don't think there is any way we can cheat. Okay, so we're a bit stuck on those. Something I forgot about with uh, the whole darn thing. Okay, well, if we do something different then. Let's actually build this up instead. So what we're going to do is put up two blocks there. Then have it on the side like that. It's not ideal, but it'll do. Um, and that's when we actually get the roof is actually up here, surprisingly. Um, and the reason is because my one is dropped by a block. Which is why mine's a lot shorter. So it's slightly different. That's fine. We'll work with it. So if we just go back to that thing. Because mine's shorter, I'm trying to now figure out what I'm going to do with these bits. But we can actually have something in here like this. Uh, because we're actually knocking through into this anyway. Uh, it doesn't really matter as much as as it can like dip before, if you know what I mean. You know, So we can actually do something like this. So we can have two stairs here. Ignore that bit there. It should be like that. We're also going to switch out these black back blocks here. So for some other ones. So it's actually all stone. Um, down on the floor here we can put something like coal blocks. There you go. There's coal. Or something like that. Uh, and we're also going to have... Ooh, do, 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 do. Andesite? Yeah, we'll go with andesite. We have some andesite in this floor here. And mixed in. And then we're going to go for... Obviously make sure that you've got your whole fire thing off. You won't want to burn down everything. That wouldn't be good. And then we're just going to have some stone stairs underneath there like that. And then on this side we're going to have the stone slabs. So there we go. That's how we build the little kitchen bit. So on this side we can then, you know, obviously put down uh, the interior type stuff. You know, pressure plate and... And whatnot for your chopping board and put some trapdoors up and all that kind of stuff is all up to you. But that's it from the inside perspective. Um, now I did actually have a door on mine at the back here. Up to you guys if you want that or not. Um, really is up to you guys. Um, you don't have to obviously at all. Right now I've got rid of all the blocks that were really useful to me, which is uh, <laughs> not that good. <laughs> but um, right, what we'll do here, we'll switch out a couple of these blocks. Have these going up here, so we're going to have one going up on the side. So typically, what I do with uh, chimneys to make them look random uh, is actually to choose, literally choose one side. Uh, we don't want anything like that, but we can have these on the top, can't we? Do some stuff on the top there. Uh, it doesn't actually matter if these are stairs either, uh, except there. Yeah. So something like that. After it's gone there, putting a stair on that bit. Uh, we're actually going to have a stair probably going like that or something. And then, I don't think we can put a flower pot onto it, which is a shame. Apparently we can. Okay, so we can put a flower pot onto it, but it doesn't look right. So we're not going to. So there's that. We could have something like this, though. Where we can. So there's always ways, but looking at it, don't like it. <laughs> this is the thing. Whenever whenever I'm like converting things over to default, there's always like different ways of doing things. Uh, and sometimes I just don't like it. So if we go for cobweb, yeah, cobweb, good. Put this up here and we'll have it go in whatever direction we've been doing it in before. I don't think we have, okay. Well, if you want the cobwebs going up and, and over, you know, you can do that whole thing. So we go. we've got a little bit of um, kind of like detail going in here. I mean, we could even raise this one up if we wanted to. Even have it, you know, going down here or whatever. Um, we don't really need to, you can just have it like this. But what we do need to do is we do need to variate it. So there's blocks that I completely got rid of by accident. I need now, which are the not infested ones. Wow, do not want those. They are mossy and cracked. I didn't realise these were in front of them now. If they weren't before, I don't know, I can't remember. There we go, put in some mossy. Uh, you don't want too much mossy with uh, fireplaces for the obvious reason, which is uh, you would expect it to be quite, quite dry. Um, but you can put it in anyway, just because it just adds detail. It's the same with this this cobblestone here, really. You can actually put in the mossy um, without any problems at all. You know, there's no reason why you can't put in mossy cobblestone. You know, just down here, if you wanted to make it look a little bit more damper uh, instead of corn, certain corners of it. But apart from that, that's it. You know, there's not too much to it. It's um, relatively simple. We've got a nice little fireplace here. Obviously, if you wanted to move that down, you could do um, on the inside. What I recommend doing is just grabbing something like, not dark oak, uh, like something like spruce, maybe. Unless you've got the spruce floor, because you probably don't want to have uh, all of the same you know, material going all the way through it. But you literally can just go into the top here, do these kind of like bits like this, put in these most of the way around it. 
Uh, you might come across this bit here where you do something like that or uh, get your slab and put that in there. Um, okay, I should be able to get down there quite easily. Just basically cover these up. It's nice and simple. The only thing is, because of that, that bit, like I said, uh, you might have a little bit sticking out on this side, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but it's not the end of the world. If you do, there we go. So you have something like that. It's not the end of the world at all. You can see that bit, but you could always, if you want to, you know, just shove in some solid blocks in there and no one will ever know. <laughs> so it's one of those things. Or even do something like that, you know, to make it look a little bit more, more different or something like that. I don't know. Whatever you want. Um, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed the tutorial. If you want it in the Conquest mod, do give me a shout because at the minute I am just going to be doing them in default first uh, and then seeing if people are interested and then if they are, then I'll, I'll do them in Conquest. But um, if you guys also want an interior do um, interior tutorial, do let me know and I'll, I'll whiz one up uh, and just go through it so we can actually get it because I think that would be quite interesting as well. But thanks you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, comment, like, subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.